Welcome to UK Foot Golf News. Welcome to UK Foot Golf News, the first UK-based podcast that talks about everything foot golf in the UK. I'm Sean Rontree, your host, and this is episode five. We start our news update with the UK Open. This three-day event is the biggest on the UK calendar, and it all started with the National Pairs competition on the Friday. Massive congratulations go out to Andrew Duffy and Tom Spink, who became the National Pairs champions after they defeated the pairing of Cook and Galbraith on the final hole in a thrilling finish. We now move on to the singles event, and after day one, Tom Spink continued his excellent form as he led the way after 36 holes by a single shot from Liam Schutz. Scottish Open champ Spink carded 10 birdies to post a 3-under total in tough windy conditions at Magnolia Park. 2015 champion Lionel Jacco was a further shot behind on 1-under par, a shot ahead of Nick Iron and Antonio Balestra was tied with Mark Scotchford and Ben Clark on plus one. So on to the finals day action, and finally the win for Liam Schutz at Magnolia Park to become the 2017 UK Open champion. Schutz defeated Tom Spink in a three-hole playoff after the pair finished a single shot ahead of Nick Hine, Ben Clark and Jamie Cullen on seven under par. Congratulations also go out to Claire Williams on a single shot victory in the ladies category and also to Andy Peck for victory in the over 45s event. Time for special guest number one. This guy is one of the nicest foot golfers out there and I'm really pleased to have him on board today. It's the UK Open champion, Liam Schutz. Liam, how are you doing? I'm good, buddy. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for joining us today. Um, The UK Open, tell me about it. Yeah, uh, amazing. Um, Obviously, as you know, I I came out the winner over Tom Spink and... uh, it was massive for me, and it was a real special weekend because I haven't. I've only won one previous tournament, and to win the biggest tournament in the UK calendar was was something I'll never forget. Excellent. Is that actually your first win on the tour in, a, in a major event? In in a in a major event, yeah. My other win was uh, at Addington, which was not last year, the the year before. A regional on Friday evening, yeah, a regional. So uh, that was in a strong field as well, to be fair. But obviously, to win it on. In, in my opinion, probably the biggest event in the UK kind of calendar in terms of the UK events. It was uh, say very special. Thing. Without a doubt, it's the biggest event in the UK, and good to have a UK winner. Yeah. How, yeah, how was it? Um, how was it for you? Uh, obviously, Saturday was two rounds in the morning, afternoon. Yeah. How did your first two rounds go? Well, well, I felt I played well both rounds. I felt I was very frustrated on the second round. Um, I think I was level par first eighteen, then I went two under. Um, the second 18, but that was with a treble bogey on the 13th or 14th, of the par three, just yeah, around the just around the pond. So I knew that I should have been in a better position, um, but obviously haven't seen the leaderboards. I think I was only one behind Spink um, after the 36 hole. So I was kind of grateful that they didn't scupper my chances of giving myself an opportunity of winning on Sunday. But I felt I played well, and then obviously everything just fell into place on Sunday. I just started like a house on fire. I think I was four under through nine, and I was leading by four shots yeah. through nine. So yeah. um, that was the first time I really felt like it was my time to win. So yeah, it was it was good. It was very yeah. Good. So I mean, obviously you, you were you were tied after the uh, after the after Sunday. You and Tom Spink yeah. were tied, so it was a three-hole playoff. Yeah. Nervous? I was. Yeah. Um, I felt better in the playoff than I did in the last few holes because a lot of guys were kind of. Only as kind of general banter, we'll say that I've always been there, but not quite 
done enough to win it. So that that was going through my head, to be quite honest. On, on the last nine holes, I was four shots clear. I felt as if I was playing really good, but in the back of my head, I was just constantly saying to myself that I'd, I was going to bottle it. But thankfully, I gave myself a chance. You know. To a degree, you could say that I threw it away a little bit, but thankfully, in the end, uh, in the end, you won, which is yeah, all that matters. Really, that's, that's all that matters. Come, yeah. come the end of the day, you know how you did it. I mean, yeah. it's it's absolutely fantastic that you got that first win, yeah, and fantastic that you got it at the place where everyone would dream to yeah. get a win, yeah, the UK Open. Um, yeah, slightly reduced field, not as many foreigners, but still takes a lot. Yeah, yeah. to win that event, I know that for definitely. So, so strong. Uh, the UK field is, is very, very strong. Yeah. So. There's a lot of good players, and obviously there was a few, you know, previous winners, Mancino, Jaco, were there, and obviously Esposito, and then had Balestra come over from France. So the, the field was still, there was still a lot of good players there. Oh, so definitely, it was, it was a very nice strong field. Run. And what did you make of the course? The course was fantastic. It was, I think, when it's on a golf course, you can you can see the difference just in terms of your putting because you're putting across golf greens or pristine fairways. But the course was set up magnificently. It was tough, you know. You had to you had to play with your head. Um, it was long, so all, all the factors there. You had a couple of short technical holes, like the the 13th, 14th, yeah. um, yes, which uh, caught me out. But uh, you know, it's nice when you get a good mix. You had a few short holes, a few long holes. You ha you had to kind of put it in the right positions to to give yourself. The yeah, best it was chance. a tough course, but it was tough for everyone. Yeah. But that's how yeah, it should be. It. UK yeah. Open should be tough. It's not going to be easy. You don't want massive scores. No. It's got to make you know make sure that you've got the right mix of short hole technical. Long holes where you can hit the ball a bit further, but yeah. really good course. Yes, fine, three. So obviously, I mean that's your your first win. Um, yeah. What's your hopes for the rest of the season? Just to kick on from that, really, I think I needed that win. Um, I've been saying to a few people that not necessarily fallen out of love of it, but it was I was becoming very frustrated. And I had a very busy summer, um, going all over the world, really, and I was almost coming to the point where. I wasn't not enjoying it, but I was just getting very frustrated, as I say, and, and that's kind of spurred me on and it showed me that I can do it. And you can do it. With what I mentioned in the back nine, all I said to myself was that I'm going to bottle it, and that, that was just my bad mentality. Um, but now, hopefully, I can get rid of that. I've been there, I've done it, you know, I've beaten a very good player in the playoff, and I just hope, you know, I had a good result last week. I backed it up at Cold Ashby, hoping to do the same at Cambridge. Um, just finish as strong as I can. I put myself in a good position now. To uh, I set myself some aims and targets at the start of the year, and now they're looking really, um, you know, they're realistic now. And I've given myself the best chance. So just hope to finish the season strong. Do as well as you can. I mean, you, you were world number one for a short period. For a short period. For a yeah. short period, but still yeah. world number yeah, one. Was, yeah, you know, so, so you got that on your CV yeah, almost. So yeah. you know, um, so yeah, brilliant. So, well. Congratulations again winning the UK Open. Thank you. Um, thanks for joining us and I wish you every success for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks All right, smash you. Thanks, Liam. Cheers. Apologies for the poor sound quality during that interview. Um, someone decided to put the vacuum cleaner on. Thank you very much. Okay, joined by special guest number two. This man is one half of vintage foot golf, probably the uh, the most successful pairing uh, in UK foot golf, um, okay. and he's he's also the the over forty five UK Open champion, Mr. Andy Peck. Andy, how are you doing? I'm fine, Sean. How are you? And I will like to say the better half of the uh, vintage <laughs> foot golf. <laughs> I'm very good, thanks. Um, can we, first of all, we'll just talk about the UK Open. Obviously a very tough competition, which you ended up winning the over 45 section. How did your days go? Day one, day one was fine. Uh, it was, I think, plus, mm. plus uh, seven or plus 11, I can't remember, in the morning round. And then in the afternoon, just a bit more course management, just to put it in the right places, come in level par. So that was plus, so it put me plus 11. And then obviously it, it put me out the second day with the top four, which became a bit of a match play situation. So um, that was that was that was quite nice. Did miss my vintage partner, but he was smashing it out in front of us. Bless him. Put us under pressure with four holes to go, knowing that he was in with plus twenty. So um, yeah, no, that, that was that was quite nice. So um, Carlos as well got back at me at one stage, going down the last needed to. Needed to win the old to, to 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 win it sort of thing, and 
managed to adjust, adjust yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was very close. To, I yeah. mean, especially between you and Carlos on on the Sunday. Mark, um, Mark was never out of it. Mark was there or thereabouts. He yeah, was, Mark uh, Eagleston yeah. was was uh, yeah. as always. He's yeah. always there and thereabouts, yeah. if not winning events. Yeah. Uh, Attila. Yeah. Um, had a few bad holes, yeah. which, which cost him big time on the Sunday. Yeah. Um, I tried my best. I had a very poor Saturday, um, but tried my best on the Sunday to give you something to, to aim for, which yeah. you did, and put a little bit of pressure on you. Yeah, luckily you come out in the buggy and sold us that you was in with plus 20, <laughs> and I was like, I'm looking, thinking, I've got four holes to go, and I'm plus 16 here, I can't be dropping any more shots, so that that kind of helped, it obviously didn't help you, but it helped me, sort of thing, so yeah, no, great. And what did you make of the course? Oh, brilliant. No, never been there before. Didn't go to the county championships last year. Nicely set out. Um, yeah, no, really, probably one of my ones. Probably in my top three, and I'm not going to name the other two. Yeah, it was a, it was it was a nice course, really nice, well designed. Yeah. Tough. Yep. Very tough. Some holes were ridiculously tough, but if you, put, you can't expect easy holes no, at the you, UK Open. No, if you put the balls in the right place, then yeah. That's what it's all about, yeah, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. So, so obviously, um, UK Open over 45s champion for the, for this year. Um, you're doing well in, in the the rest of the uh, the events. Currently leader in the Super Series, um, 50 yeah. points ahead. Uh, yeah, of, um, for another fellow called uh, <laughs> Sean Rontree. Uh, it's Cambridge today, so uh, let's see after what happens after today. And but there's there's. Like you say, it's a great group of lads, the seniors. We all get on, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, I'll have a smile on my end at the end of the day. It's my home course. Been working on it all week. I haven't designed it, but I've been working on it. So uh, I, yeah, hopefully we'll be. I, I, I'll be happy with a top five finish today because I think Ryan, most of us will be happy with the podium finish today. Yeah, uh, Ryan's a bit tight, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for joining us. No uh, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks, Andy. See you, mate. See you soon. Thank you. So now we move on to the UK International Tour Stage 9, the Midlands Open at Cold Ashby. Conditions were just about perfect, but as the day went on, the increasing temperatures meant the greens were super fast, so every shot had to be near perfection or you would suffer greatly. It started with a Piers event in the morning, and Nottinghamshire duo Jason and Adam Parkinson won the latest stage of the UK Golf International Tours pair with a sizzling 62 in glorious weather at Cold Ashby. Scotland's clean-cut Neil Shea won the Midlands Open Eye Pro event. The Scotsman, part of the UK team for the European Team Championship next month, carded a 64 for a single-shot victory over Liam Schutz and Craig Galbraith. Paul Chivers made it back-to-back -back wins in the men's category with a 65, with Phil Joseph finishing as runners-up and Mark Eagleston in third, completing the podium. Claire Williams followed up her UK Open victory with another victory in the ladies' category. A 75 was a good enough for a three-shot win over Charlotte Gara, with Sophie Brown third. And Mark Eagleston once again proved why he was one of the best over 45 players in the country with another victory. This time his 69 was good enough for a four-shot win over Paul Downey and Andy Peck finished third. The next action, and we move to Cambridge for Super Series Stage 6. And UK Jansen Cup winning captain Mark Scotchford shot a sizzling 63 to win by a single shot from Neil Shave and Tom Spink, who won a four-man playoff. In the over 45s, it was Cambridge's own Andy Peck, who made it two from three to climb the rankings after a sensational 66. Robin Barton made his first podium to qualify for the UK Grand Final, finishing third, with Carlos Boreham in second place. In the ladies' event, it was Sophie Brown who snatched victory from Claire Williams with an incredible playoff performance, Michaela Hill finished third in her first ever competition. The season is in its final running now, with only four events left before the grand final, so points are important in all categories. Next up is the Welsh Open at the beautiful Silver Birch Golf Club. I hope to see you all there. That's it for this episode. Thanks for listening and join us again next month. UK Foot Golf News, sponsored by Vintage Foot Golf.